there's something I got to bring up. Is it? Is it? Lot, does it pertain to Buster Faulkner? No, it does okay. not. Because that that's my dog stock. Okay, here here we go. Here, Paul Todd Monk is turf, and I'm going to go ahead and jump into dog stocks too. <laughs> I'm going stock down, stock down on you people, you people who made my job hard when I was somewhere else last year during the college football playoff. It's Todd Munkin, the, the the sweet man that he is, the, the soft-spoken, kind, uh, Christian man that he is, but, you know, <laughs> just he's what a good man. He goes up there and he protects Stetson Bennett, and he says, hey, I know we can win a national title with Stetson Bennett. Mm-hmm. And, man, you would have thought – Called his shot. He had engineered, that he, you would have thought that he engineered like Brexit and the <laughs> FTX crash and all of those things at once. Because I'm talking about when people found out, when people like when he said it emphatically and he broke, he broke, yo, he crushed dreams because there were people that were like, Kirby's doing this. <laughs> Kirby's doing this. And one day Kirby's going to give way to Monk and, and, and everything's going to be better. But then Munkin was like, Stetson's my guy. There's no doubt we can win a championship with him. Yeah. Everybody thought that, oh, man. JT Munkin, Daniels is definitely going to start against Michigan. Yeah. JT Daniels is Munkin's guy. That's who Munkin's guy is. Um, no, man. Stetson was Munkin's guy. Stetson I mean, and, and, and Munkin told you what Stetson could do. Stetson's done it once. Stetson's got Georgia position to do it twice. Stock down on you people. You caused me a lot of headaches last offseason. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> Palmer, uh you red, you, 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 you silver riches people. Let's keep it offensive. Let's keep it offensive, Palmer. So I'm I'm going stock up on Buster Faulkner. Um, you know, all this conversation about Todd. Great grandson of William Faulkner. <laughs> um, all this conversation about Todd. The the guy that I've the unsung hero of this offensive staff is is Buster Faulkner. Um, we heard Stetson talk about him at his Burlesworth acceptance speech, which was. You've been looking at my Facebook headlines. I haven't. Did you? <laughs> did you write on? No, here? you you wrote a story. You put a story up, and I put it up on Facebook, and I I, I changed the 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 regular headline to an unsung hero headline because it was about Buster Fogg. The Jake, one thing, stock up on Jake's ability to write headlines. <laughs> that he he told me early in in our time together. Uh, said hey i don't know if if i'm good in this business at all but one thing i know i am good at is is writing a headline so i try um but but buster faulkner um you know the unsung hero as jake called him um in his you know smart seo friendly headline um (laughs) huge praise for him from stetson bennett both at the burlesworth um awards ceremony and this past weekend in new york um, you know, talked about how he's the level-headed one on the sideline. That um, they're attached at the hip on the sidelines. If you uh, know what you're looking for down there, yeah. And 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 he's he kind of explained why that is. Um, you know, he doesn't talk to Todd Munkin during the game, um, which was very interesting to me because you know I, you think about coordinator up in the box, quarterback down on the field. Hey, you know, end of the drive, get him on the phone, put him on the headset, whatever, talk, talk, talk. Stetson said that they don't do that and that they don't need to do that because, um, you know, Stetson doesn't want Munkin hearing everything that he has to say during the heat of the moment. And Munkin doesn't want Stetson hearing everything he has to say in the heat of the moment. Um, there, there's, you know, those are two very, very passionate guys. Um, and, and so, Buster Faulkner, his ability to – Stetson called it a filter effect. I think Buster told me preseason, he said, you know, we've got faith in you that, that you might – like this might this might happen if we go. And I think I just heard it and I was like, ah, yeah, you know. Don't, what does that mean, right? Um, but shoot, he was, he was a little bit right on how important has been Buster Faulkner's year development? Reference him when you were in the speech. Yeah. One day, you mentioned him right there. You know, off-field analyst. How important has he been to year development? You know, I think he's been extremely important. You know, he's the one. He he runs us through the drills. Uh, you know, just talk ball. But I think I think probably the the main thing that he's helped at 
is uh, just just on the sideline. Like he is the mediator between me and Monk. Uh, you know, me and Monk don't really talk during the games, uh, which I think is probably you know probably a good thing. Um, just because we're, we're both so I don't know whatever you want to call us passionate. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> but so Buster listens to what Monk says yeah. and filters it out obviously don't tell me everything because I don't you know people say stuff in the heat of the moment and Monk's going to say stuff um, and I don't need to hear all that you know every time cause just because nature he doesn't need to hear everything I have to say right? and it's just not important um, so he does I mean Buster keeps me sane keeps me in the moment keeps me you know helps me out what are you seeing here with this play um, and all that stuff I just his presence is comforting and uh, he's damn good for the coach his ability to filter what needs to be heard on both sides it's it's really impressive he said he's the one that puts them through drills we've seen that a little bit when we've gotten to see some practice Todd Munkin is the head coach of the offense. He's overseeing everything. Buster Faulkner is is working directly with the quarterbacks, um, even if Munkin has that quarterback coach title. Um, if Todd Munkin were to leave, I think Buster Faulkner is the uh, you know immediate promotion. Um, I, I don't know how much they would want to look around because they've they've kind of found what has worked the last three years. Um, you know, they, they don't want to go back to a Jim Chaney, James Coley type offense. They want to stay in this new era that Todd Munkin has brought them into the last three years. And Buster Faulkner would be it, it would create some continuity there. So um, stock up on Buster Faulkner. Have heard some buzz that he it is is a high choice for Georgia Tech in their open offensive coordinator position. Well, surely um, he will not go to Georgia Tech. That just <laughs> isn't allowed. But stock up on Buster and his um, his, his offensive coaching ability and his uh, mediation ability too. Well, I mean, Buster Faulkner is like the the deep cut that that the real Georgia football fans, the real addicts, you know, they know Buster Faulkner's waiting in the wings to just guide this offense if and when it's necessary. Uh, I'm going to say stock up on this guy right here, Palmer Toms. <laughs> uh, bringing it home. Got that Heisman Trophy framed up behind him, and he was an honorary member of the Heisman House, the only Dogs HQ staffer that has uh, visiting rights to the Heisman House. It's Palmer Toms. Great work. Uh, I know New York is a magical, time, magical place this time of year, and the Heisman is pretty special. As I said, though, it's, I just have a feeling it's going to get a lot less special because I, I'm sure Georgia is going to start to have guys up there every couple of years now. Uh, maybe Brock Bowers next season. Maybe it's uh, one of these transfer portal guys that we talked about. We saw Caleb Williams do that.